Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining me and welcome to my channel. It's your reading for love for the rest of November and so far they've been turning out pretty cool so I hope you enjoy it as well. A big win is finally I got the light sort of figured out. <laughs> so hey girl, hey, how about that? Okay, so let's take a look at your core energy. So we have the five of wands. There's something going on with your sign at this time and it's affecting your relationships. And remember, when I talk about love, for some of you guys, that just means non-romantic love. Not everybody is in a partnered relationship, nor do they want to be. So please apply it to the people that matter in your life. Um, but I think as you're sensing the shift that's coming and um, the spotlight is going to be on you. And so uh, there's a lot of things changing. Things suddenly fall apart. Things suddenly don't work the way they used to. You feel uncomfortable doing the same things you were doing before. And I know many of you guys have already made changes fairly recently, like six months ago. Um, but now I feel as though another change is coming. And in this time, I feel like this change um, is going to be more of a permanent one. So the first change that you went through was more to practice changing, if that makes sense. And now you're going into a energy of shifting uh, into where you really need to be. So this came up, Page of Swords, new ideas, something that's going to put you in a new environment um, intellectually, like something you've never done before. But I think you might be you get this kind of resistance from the people around you around times of change because you need to go through the change. This is, this is my rule for Aquarius. Okay. Um, go and pursue your change. And when you're in the transition phase, which your sign goes through, don't really look to other people from, for consolation or approval. Um, not that anyone should, but you particularly may see people getting in their feelings, uh, showing attitude. It has to do with how people are, right? So people get grumpy when change happens because you're changing, then they're feeling like they're going to change. So just stay out of their way. Um, okay, so then we have the nine of wands up here. So a little bit isolated at this time, a little bit alone to think about things that you want to do. I feel like it's the time in which you will maybe not find understanding for what you're seeing. The other thing is where you are changing to, many of you are just sensing it now. So you don't actually see where things are ultimately going yet. And so you don't even have that much to say. It's your time to sit there and listen and pay attention to the change. Okay, then below is the devil. Hmm. So also in your personal relationships, I feel like maybe you need to suss out um, like who is problematic. And that means, you know, being quiet, listening, cheetah in the grass kind of energy. I feel like somebody is, I think you know, some of you know who it is, and those of you who don't know who it is, you sense something's going on. You know, you sense a snake, you sense a problem. And so you're like just sitting there and just, you need to sit there and wait for the hidden to become visible. Maybe on TikTok, I'll do a Reiki for that to like, make the hidden visible. I'm very good at that. So uh, maybe I can do a Reiki session for you guys. Okay. So we have the six of cups over here. So there is people around you who love you, uh, ride and die, soulmate, very good energy that supports you. So there's the six of cups. And then the upcoming energy is the queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think you're going to receive a lot of help and support in this situation, but not from the people you expect. And this could be a man or a woman. Very likely there's an intimate connection here, but not for all of you, okay? The main thing is that this is like WTF, guys. Why are you wiling out? Like, why are you upset? That's the energy here that I'm sensing that you're feeling from this group dynamic, this group situation. And it has to do with their unwillingness to change alongside with you. They like the you with Saturn in your 12th house, you know, 
And uh, when Saturn enters our first house, even though that's your ruler, you will have this kind of almost, the first house is your personality or the self, right? And so almost immediately you will have like finger pointing at you, which is easy for Aquarius, fairly easy for Aquarians to deal with because you take that as a constructive, even if it's not a constructive piece of information, right? So you take what you can out of what you're hearing. But Saturn in the first house is pretty judgy. You know, you'll feel like the world is judging you. So in some way you're already feeling that. Why can't you be like the old you? Why are you the way that you are now? Well, you know, it is now. The past is gone, you know? What is it? The, fu the past is gone. The future is coming and like the the pre the mo <laughs> the current moment is a present i don't know i forget that saying okay so here we go uh so we have the judgment card okay so a big decision about a change and you're going to be very happy about it that's the thing and that's the thing you need to find people with whom you resonate about the change people who are just as excited as you are about where you're going and i think you're going to have a warm reception so it's all with the water like it doesn't necessarily mean that water signs are on your side it could very well be somebody with lots of water transits be there with you through what you're doing but i also feel that um, you're going to have that emotional reception like somebody's going to be really happy about it. It's going to be very clear because they're going to let you know emotionally that you're happy, that they're happy you're coming. So go in that direction um, and don't focus on, you know, people who can't handle the change. So we have the five of pentacles. I feel like you're making a change for the purpose of being with someone and being stronger together. So I think that the change is happening in order to, you know, two minds are better than one, you know, two wallets are better than one. Sometimes, sometimes it's detrimental. We know this, but, um, I feel like you're, it's a decision very likely in order to be stronger in the world. And it doesn't mean like gold digging. It means that like for the purpose of like, you found a good, some of you have found a very good person to be stronger with in the world. And that's, probably the ideal situation in partnership when you really trust someone and you feel like you'll be stronger for having them in your life. So some of you are making a decision to become closer with someone. And I think you probably already know that, but you'll probably make that step in the next 30 days or so. And uh, those of you who are single, probably very happily dating, maybe even a little bit on the intimacy side, like more intimacy at this time for you a lot of passionate kissing, whatever else. And then we have the six of maybe moving on through that from a situation and a king of pentacles. Hey girl, hey. So some of you might be moving towards an earth sign also. Uh, I feel as though, you know, someone, this person could be a soulmate type energy bringing very strong warmth and into your life. I feel as though it's it's a pull like you you feel very drawn to this individual and i think you're very happy and also i feel like the decision you're making is easy i don't feel like you're heeing and hawing about it i feel like you know exactly which direction you want to go i i also strongly feel to tell you that you are meant to in some way confide in the queen of cups confide and she's here to listen she's here to support you as you make a step towards a direction you want especially those of you who are not um supported by you know very stable situations so there's a couple different layers to this i do feel as though somebody around you is kind of shady you know not not too good of a friend Maybe you need to catch them in the act. And by that, I mean, maybe you need to catch them saying something, you know, um, offhandedly catting, you know, um, you know, catching them in the moment of the deed or, you know, whatever kind of uh, behavior that you feel like is there. You're just waiting for evidence, you know, like someone to do that in front of you. Maybe you know that they're homophobic, but you're just waiting for that moment until they show it and then you'll know for sure. So it's a little bit of a, that's an example, but I feel like you're waiting and listening for some BS to hit the fan 
um, so that you know for sure what is what and seeing through a situation. But then on the other hand, there's a bigger decision. It coincides with the fact that there's a bigger decision that you're taking up and that bigger decision is to be no longer so isolated. Maybe this current situation that you've been in has left you somewhat emotionally isolated or strategically. Like I keep on getting the idea that it's strategic, that it has to do with like, I don't know, wealth. It has to do with security. You know, it's times of a pandemic right now. So there could be a lot of, um, how do you say, there could be a lot of like, what ifs in the air and you realize that you, you like doing it alone is kind of dangerous and so maybe you have someone around who you could be roommates with or maybe something more serious um, romantically speaking but I feel like you're moving closer towards someone and then there's this for some of you this is a romantic relationship that is a very clear direction that you're taking you know that that's the direction you want right away okay the next message is the magician okay and then we have the knight of cups pisces cancer scorpio and then we have the eight of swords okay so i feel like you need to make a decision about your feelings and you're trying to work out how you're gonna say it or what you're gonna say so i feel like the knight of cups is representative of you and the Eight of Swords is you not being really sure how to share your feelings about a situation. But I do feel like there's growing determination as the month goes on in order to take that next step, in order to assert what you want, tell the other person what you want, or the way that you want things done and so forth. So if you're a little fuzzy right now, just wait a few days and that clarity will come in for you. Maybe this is also a decision to open your heart, like take someone up on an offer or whatever else. Okay. So then we have the two of swords. This is probably going to talk about this the most. So your friends don't know what to do about the situation. Oh yeah. Look at these twos come through. Okay. Let's see what else is here. The moon. Yeah. Your friends. So don't be vexed with your friends. Don't be upset with them if they're acting weird. Um, they don't know what to do with the situation. Um, Things are in flux, things are hard for people all over the place, and so I feel as though um, if they're showing you poor behavior such as not being a great friend or not really being there for you, give them space and forgive them. It's a tough time for them and there's hidden things that you don't know about why they're acting in the way they're acting, okay? So let's look a little bit closer, just a little bit of a clarifier. And we have the world card. So very likely <laughs> they're worried that you're going to change, that you're going to leave the situation, you know, be away from the situation or like change things up. Like you'll no longer be around. Look at this 10 of swords on the bottom. So they're very des like uh, despondent about where you're going to go. They feel like you're going to leave them alone. So they're acting crazy. So you need to do what's best for you. Stop listening to them because they're biased, right? And then we have the page of wands. You know you're about to take the next step in some direction and you're happy about it, but I feel like you are sitting there thinking about how that's going to impact the people around you. Um, and then we have the Hierophant below the surface. This has to do with somebody mucking around in your friend group. So somebody's mucking around playing games, being immature about things, stirring up drama. And I feel like you don't really know because people may not be telling you everything right away, but you're feeling like something's going on. It's that paranoid feeling like not, not that you have paranoia, but you sense that something's going on. Okay. So the incoming energy is the King of Wands, a Sag, a Leo, or an Aries secondary energy and fire as well fire energy sag time of year also for some of you maybe it's this is the soulmate the fire sign person or maybe this is the king of pentacles maybe it's an overlap of the two whatever i see is a successful person a business person a very guy's guy or like a girl's girl like a like a very strong in their like uh strong in their energy 
And so I feel like this person is coming through in a very, like they're very self sufficient. They're, they're, they're self sufficient and they're not, how do I just, this person has been around the block and I don't mean that in a pejorative way. I mean, this person has been around a time or two and they're looking for a friend and are a companion. They're not like playing games. They're not being basic. They're not like, they're, they're coming in like with a strong energy. They don't want games. And I feel like a lot of this has to do with a mutual need to not be alone through these times, okay? Then we have the Queen of Wands. Oh, look, there's the King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Secondary transits in fire. So maybe they are separate people. But I feel like Maybe it's a decision between the two people, or maybe this is a good friend and an advisor. This person is coming in with very good energy. So whoever this is, they're bringing you peace, love, luck, joy. But I feel like the strongest attraction, especially for those of you who are single, is to the King of Pentacles. And maybe you'll need to figure out some ways to like accept that it's happening in your life, like you're asking your heart whether or not it's happening and all that stuff. So let's look at the angels. So we have the uh, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Talking to the Queen of Cups about it is also very important. Then we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Discuss your feelings with each other. So um, I think that this is about you opening up. I feel like you're on guard with your social situation right now. You don't trust it. And then there's someone who's coming in that you're supposed to open up to, but it's a conflict of interest because on the one hand, you're on guard watching people around you because something's you sense something's not right. And then there's someone coming through with a very good energy. I don't think you'll miss them. And then we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry in this relationship to keep going. That's this person here. So I don't know if you guys, this is like a little thing uh, that, you know, when women reject a man but not in a mean way oftentimes they love them for life so this is like a best friend who just adores you and who you may have rejected in the past you know so i feel somebody's coming in to help you in this situation i feel like there's people around you trying to motivate you to take a chance on this person or whoever it is or if it's within a relationship there are a couple friends maybe a, a best friend, or maybe uh, maybe even a gay friend, you know, somebody who's not interested in you, um, and a female who are encouraging you to, in some way, you know, take a next step in, uh, in this situation, to be open to a more of a commitment to this one specific person. I don't think they know what's going on with your friends, because I think a lot of times you guys just know what's going on in your head, and you just watch people, you know, like, and you let them essentially show their true colors on their own. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a nice, nice uh, day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Have a nice November. That's what I was looking for. Okay, bye.